Hey everybody, welcome back. A few words here about the Bling Bishop. The Bling Bishop is what they like to call him in New York, and of course that is a Bishop Lamar Whitehead, who I have talked about on this channel before. I did a video on him a few months back. I want to say it was July, where he was robbed at gunpoint in his church, and they stole an exorbitant amount of jewelry from him, something like in the tune, to the tune of a million dollars worth of jewelry this guy was wearing. And I had done a video on that. I showed the clip from his church where he was getting robbed and did some speculation. And I had speculated at that time, there's a strong possibility here. Can't prove anything. You know, this is just talk but a strong possibility that it was staged. Why? Because Whitehead has a history of being a scammer. He's been to prison for ripping people off, for hustling, for playing the game, you know, running schemes. And he's in jail again. <laughs> so we're gonna read the article. Saw this one coming, right folks? Gonna go ahead and read the article here really quickly. It's a short one and this is from the New York Post. NYC's bling Bishop Lamore Whitehead hit with federal charges for fraud schemes. Big surprise there. Bling Bishop Lamore Whitehead, the flashy Brooklyn pastor who made headlines earlier this year when he was robbed at gunpoint during a church service, was arrested by federal agents Monday and charged with fraud, extortion, and lying to the FBI. And I always... Uh, I always have to pause at a phrasing like that because once again, I think it's a huge problem in this country, in any country, really, because you find this with most law enforcement, with most courts and things like that. They can lie to you, but you can't lie to them. And I know this firsthand because remember, I used to work for the Juvenile Justice Authority. But let's get back to the article. Whitehead, who preaches a prosperity gospel, that's always a problem, at his... Carnacy Church drives a Rolls Royce and often wears pricey jewelry and Gucci suits, was indicted on two counts of wire fraud, one count of extortion and one count of making material false statements, federal prosecutors said. And that may all be true, but the wire fraud charges is always bullshit. The wire fraud, wiretapping, and mail fraud are usually just made up crap that they tack on. It goes on to say, if convicted, he faces a maximum of 65 years in prison. I seriously doubt that it'll get to that. And here's a picture of Whitehead. And it says the feds allege Whitehead scammed one of his parishioners out of 90,000 of her retirement savings by promising to use the cash to buy her a home. She can't buy her own house? And instead, blowing it on luxury goods and clothing, according to the indictment. And I'm sure more will come out of the woodwork here. It's gonna be a lot more than just this one parishioner claiming that he ripped off her savings. It's gonna be others. There's gonna be others surfacing as this goes on. Whitehead faces a maximum of 65 years in prison for the charges, they already said that. In another scheme, Whitehead extorted a businessman for 5,000 and asked the man to lend him 500,000, promising he could quote, obtain favorable actions by the New York City government in exchange for the cash and interest in real estate transactions, the indictment states. And that could very well be true. Remember, he has very close ties with the mayor of New York. His campaign of fraud and deceit stops now, U.S. Attorney Damian Williams said in a statement after Whitehead's arrest. If you are willing to attempt to obtain funds through false promises or threats, the FBI will ensure that you are made to face the consequences for your actions in our criminal justice system, FBI Assistant Director Michael J. Driscoll added in a statement. Oh, isn't that nice? They're doing their job. Whitehead drew widespread media attention earlier this year when three suspects burst into his church during a live stream service and robbed him at gunpoint for jewelry estimated at up to one million dollars. The flamboyant pastor has had ties to Mayor Eric Adams, there you go, since at least 2013 and also made headlines in May when he tried to negotiate the surrender of an accused subway shooter and claimed to have spoken with his owner while the suspect was on the loose. And there you go. He does have 
ties to New York City government. Uh, he is connected in that respect, if you will. I'm sure that there's a lot more than just these two charges. Again, the whole like wire fraud, wire tapping, things like that that they accuse you of, it's bullshit. Um, but they just add it on to make things more complicated and so that they can charge you with additional time. My question always, of course, is are these people going to get their money back because legal justice is only the execution of law. So, okay, they take this guy and they throw him in jail. What about the people who took money from him? Are they going to get it back? Usually they don't. Usually they don't. So without uh, repentance, without reparation for his actions going back to the people that he hurt, there is no true justice, only legal justice. And things like this are only done to make an example. He probably stepped on the wrong toes somewhere in New York, and now the FBI has been weaponized against him. I wouldn't be surprised. Although, I mean, basically the guy is a fraud. I thought so when I saw the first story, which is why I talked about it. And it needs to be exposed, and you need to watch out for that. Any kind of flashy uh, minister, pastor, people who who was the one guy who said if Jesus was a lie today he would own a private jet <laughs> I can't remember who it was that said that he was trying to uh, validate the fact that he was himself buying a multi-million dollar private jet you get the idea you can't trust these people any church quite frankly that is a 501 c3 charity I would keep a very careful eye on because they're probably not truly preaching the Bible to you. Anyway, fun little story, thought I would share. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you get where I'm coming from. Share it if you can, all that good stuff. If you're new to the channel and you're wondering about the random cat images, you probably hear them squeaking in the background there. They are strays that my wife and I take care of and images of them help with the loading algorithm on screw tube if you would like to help the channel out or the cats for that matter there are links for that down below every little bit helps and be sure to appreciate it and if that's it then what more can i say but stay tuned folks because there is more to come